Today I'm going to be making something really, really yummy. This is going to be a really fast one. We're going to do a mini brownie ice cream cake. What I have here is a little piece of brownies. This is from another one of my recipes called Fast and Easy Brownies. I also have a little food ring here. My food ring is three inches in diameter by two inches high. Inside I have a little piece of plastic film. This is called acetate. And we're going to use that to line our little food mold or food ring uh, when we put our ice cream in there. But for my first step, I'm going to grab my ring and I'm going to just center it on my brownie. And I'm just going to cut right into my brownie. And you can eat the leftovers or we can use those later and make little sprinkles out of them, little crumbles, and then we're going to put those on the top. I'm going to remove the little ring. For my next step, I'm going to take a serrated knife and I'm just going to cut right through the brownie so that I get two pieces. A nice and gentle cutting motion. And that's pretty good. So I'll clean up and I'll be back in a second. So I've cleaned up and the only thing I've done is I've just taken the bottom piece and I've put it onto a plate here because this is how we're actually going to serve this later on. I'm going to grab my little food ring and I'm going to place this right over. Just squeeze it down. And then I'm going to take this little piece of plastic and I'm going to wrap that in there. And don't worry, I always think of these things ahead. If you don't have plastic like this, which you're not going to have in your house, you can take a pop bottle or a soda bottle, soft drink bottle, and you can cut little pieces like this and you can use any type of ring. You can use a ring like this, which is a food ring or a food mold. You can also use a small spring form pan mold as well. That will work equally as well. So I just want to get that in there. Just give it a little push. And then we are ready to put a little bit of ice cream in there. What I have here are some Oreo crumbs. These are just Oreo cookies that have been ground up and you can buy them in the crumb format in a little box like this. So I'm just going to grab some of these and we'll just get some of those in there. And just stir that in. And my ice cream is on the soft side so what I did was I scooped it out of a larger container and then I just let it sit out a little, you know, about 10 minutes just so that it softened up enough for me to get it into our little mold a lot easier. I'll add a little bit more. That's good. I'll mix that in. And you can add anything you wish to this. To make it even more fun, I have some little mini M&Ms. We can just get some of those in there. There we go. Mix that in. And now we are ready to fill our mold. So I'm going to grab some of this ice cream and get it right in there. And then with the smaller spoon, you can get right in there. That's good. And to make it even more fun, I have some really nice dark chocolate here. I'm going to get some of that and just pour that right in the middle. Make sure my spoon didn't touch the ice cream, I'm good. A little bit more. And I can already see the chocolate is setting up because that ice cream is so cold. That's good. Let's give it a little shake. You know this is going to be good. And then 
and then we'll get the rest of the ice cream in there. Oh, that looks good. Grab a spatula. Want to make this nice and even. That looks good. Move that over to the side. You remember our little brownies that were left over? Well, you can just break these up. You want to do this rather quickly because you do want to get this into the fridge again. And then we can just add little pieces. That's good. I'm going to take a little bit more of our dark chocolate. Let me move this over. I'm just going to do a little bit more on here. Oh, that looks good. And now right into the freezer. Now that's in the freezer, I'm going to let that completely set and then we're going to come back. So this is about one hour later. It's nicely chilled and I'm ready to unmold it. And with the magic of that plastic, I can just lift that right off. Perfect. And then, I'm just gonna find the edge of the plastic, and I'm just gonna peel this off. A little bit stuck in the brownie there we have it I'm just going to transfer this to another plate and look at that really nice let me zoom in so there we have it I'm zoomed in just for the final moments of our video so we've got the little pieces of brownie on the top with dark chocolate. We have our vanilla. We also put in the mini M&Ms and also those little Oreo crumbs. And this is probably good enough for two people, maybe, maybe one person. Right here, that dark chocolate that we put in there, you can actually hear it, that it's actually pretty, pretty solid in there. But there we have it. I'll have to try a little bit. Oh, that's really good. And then underneath the chocolate in the middle here, we have our brownie right in here. Mmm, that's really good. That there is a good serving for one person. If you want to share and you're in a sharing mood, then you can, you know, have two people eat off of this. Mmm, really, really good. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. That's a really, really fun one. That's it for today, and I'll see you next time.